AJ, seems like just yesterday you were on our recruiting show. Now you're a senior going into your final year. How does it feel? It feels great. Like you said, time has flown. Rising senior, it, it seems crazy to actually say that, but, but man, it's really time to show, show it all out on the field now. I'm a senior. You make the uh, transfer from Michigan to Northwestern. What's that been like on the football field? It's been good. It's been a smooth transition. The guys welcoming, welcoming me, um, you know, on the field, learning every day, trying to pick up the new system, trying to learn every day, having mistakes here and there, but you're not learning if you don't make mistakes. So it's been good. It's been a, a process, and I'm, I'm having fun. Quarterback battle here. I'm not asking you to pick one, but give me a little bit about an insight of the quarterbacks that are competing. All the quarterbacks, man, I'd say that, that's a great room right there. A lot of guys with a lot of experience. You know, you got Ryan Helinski, Brendan Sullivan, and Ben Bryant coming in. Uh, a lot of guys who can make plays, a lot of guys who have a lot of game experience, who bring a lot to the table. So those guys pushing each other each day in practice only raise the bar for, for the offense. Special teams has always been a big part of your game. You going to be incorporated in that as well here? No doubt. Yes, sir. Punt return and kick return. Uh, being able to affect the game in any way I can, that's what, that's what, I, uh, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> you know, I got to ask you this. There have been challenges, right? Challenges away from the football field for the team. How have you guys grown as players and come together to, to push through it and, and go out and play football? Like you said, the biggest thing is just doing it together, doing it together, staying laser focused on the on the matter at hand. And that's uh, preparing to go down to Rutgers and play a good football team. So every day, just keep stacking the good days on top of the good days and uh, keep working hard and hopefully just coming together and uh, putting it out out on the field on Saturdays. How has your head coach really kind of integrated defensive guy helped out on the offensive side, at least getting to know you guys? Oh, yeah, he's he's been great so far. Coach Braun has been great. Um, just just bringing us together like it is. That's that's a big word for the team, coming together, staying laser focused on the matter at hand, uh, integrating the offense and defensive side of the ball. Uh, just a, just that word togetherness has been big for us as a team. Some goals for this offense to be successful this year, what would they be? I would just say put up points. Put up points, that's the name of the game. Uh, we have a lot of playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. Like you said, in the QB room, there's a lot of depth, a lot of experience, a lot of experienced guys on the offense in general. So having those guys will help develop the young guys as well as we come and build depth. And I think that'll be uh, that'll build success as an as a offense. Let's talk TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I mean, you're a TikTok star as well. Yeah, yeah. What, I, what do you got, like 13 million followers nah, and that, likes? I mean, I mean you're, you're a star. Not 13 million. I, I, got, I have a... A big following, I would say. When you say big, what do you mean? Four, half a million, a million, two million? Where, close, where's the number? Close to half a million, 450K. Oh, I would, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What's I know it been like sure. building your brand? I, I feel like during during the new times of, of college football now, building a brand has been been an important part. Uh, just showcasing what you can do off the field and just showing a little bit of personality on social media. I've been able to build my brand, just giving an insight look. I feel like uh, my followers kind of gravitate towards me because I give an insight look of what it's like to be a college athlete. Not everybody gets that behind the scenes of what it's like to be a D1 athlete at a premier uh, football program like Northwestern or like Michigan I was last year. So so just giving an inside look and being able to encourage and, and just show the younger generation that look I'm a guy I'm from the Chicago land area I was able to come up and and play at the D1 level and you know you can do it too if you put your mind to it and believe in yourself. Great, AJ thanks for your time really appreciate it stay healthy and have a great year. No doubt good seeing you.